Okay, so in today's video, we're going to be talking about MySQL and the insert statement. So SQL insert statements, how you add data into a website. Now, for the database that I've been working with, if you haven't been following along with the series, if you want to download and have the same tables and data that I have, um, I've got a GitHub just with the SQL file. You can download the zip, and then once you've got it downloaded, open it up, and the SQL file, you can actually come into PHP My Admin, create a database called Movies, and then go to the Import tab, choose the file, choose the SQL file that's been downloaded, and then click on the Go button down here, and that will insert the tables. Okay, so we're talking about inserting data. Now, I'm going to use the Movies table again. I want to be able to insert data. Now, once you're inside of PHPMyAdmin, if you go to the table, you will have a tab here called Insert. So we can click on that, and we can type the information in here and you know, click the Go button down at the bottom, and that works. That's fine. But that's you using a web page to insert the data. That's not you being able to, from your server-side code, whether it's ASP.NET or PHP or ColdFusion or whatever you're using, you can't take this web page and put that into your code. So you need to be able to understand how to write the SQL statements so that you can actually put the data in there. So let's go back over to the Browse page here, and we'll edit our SQL statement. Uh, you can also go to the SQL tab if you prefer. Works from either place. So we're not doing a select. So actually, I'll jump to the SQL tab. Why not? So we're not doing a select. What we're doing here is going to create an insert statement. Now, click on the button down here at the bottom of the latest version. It sort of fills in what it's going to look like for you. So we're saying insert is the keyword into, and then the table is movies. And then you're going to list off all of the columns that you want to insert. Now, you notice that they've got backtick characters around all of these. Those aren't required. If you've got no spaces in any of them, you don't need the backtick characters there. So we could remove those if we wanted. We don't need to have those backtick characters. I can go through and remove all of them, and this is going to work just fine. Now, the next thing to note is we have the primary key column here, movie ID. Now, when we created this table, we set that as an auto increment value. The auto increment value means if I don't provide it, it's going to automatically figure out for me what the next value should be. With the next value defined, it's going to stick it in there. So I'm going to remove that. I don't want to have the movie ID. I want the database. I want MySQL to, un to insert that value for me. So I'm going to leave that out. Now, we'll just delete all this other stuff that they've got in here. And this is what the basic statement looks like. Insert into table name, list off the columns. And the reason that we list the columns here is sometimes you've got columns that are optional, ones that you don't want to provide a value for. Just as an example, let's say that year was optional. I could do this. I could say movie title, director, genre ID, provide those three values. Auto increment would give me the movie ID, and then if there was an automatic default value for year, that would be put in there for us. Now, we don't have that defined in our table, so I'm going to put this back in here, just like that. These are the columns that I'm going to provide, and this is the order that I'm going to provide them in. I could rearrange these. The values that I put in here have to come in the same order as they're listed here. That's very important. You need to have them in the same order. Okay, so movie title. Let's say if I can type it out, Pulp Fiction. And then I'm going to take director. And year, no quotes for values. Um, you'll notice here I am using single quotes. In previous videos, I've talked about using double quotes all the time. Um, you can, if you want, put in... Uh, single quotes in here, it will work just fine. Uh, it's just good to be consistent with whatever you're doing. Okay, one row inserted. So I click the Go button, and it did the insert. So this should now show up in my table. If I go back to Browse, and down at the bottom, there it is. Pulp Fiction, Quentin Tarantino, 1994. Genre ID is 5. 
Now, I wrote that number when I was doing this. I had looked up beforehand what the value for drama was, and it was the number 5. Now, if you don't know what that is, that's okay. We have a way around that. We can combine subqueries with what we've done here. So let's do this again. We will click on the button here for an insert. Uh, we'll take movie ID out. I'll leave the backtick characters just so you can see that it works with them. And then inside here, we're going to put the movie title. Let's do uh, another Quentin Tarantino one. Reservoir Dogs. The director, again, Quentin. Uh, Reservoir Dogs was 92. Now, year. Uh, sorry, that's the year. Uh, genre ID. Uh, if you don't know what the genre ID is, let's say I know what it should be drama, but I don't know what number drama is, so I'm going to do a subquery right here. I'll put quotation marks, or sorry, parentheses, and inside of there, I will do a statement. So I'm going to say, Make sure you finish your quotation marks. That's why the color coding was off. So I'm going to select genre ID from genres where genre title equals drama. And that's the value that I want to have. So I've done a subquery inside my insert statement. So this right here will be taken whatever value comes back from this now I have to make sure that this is going to be one single value and if you're not 100% certain so let's space this out make it a little easier to read if you are not 100% certain that this is going to give you one single value then what you should do is at the very end add a limit and say limit one that way I'm going to get the very first value that is returned for this Okay, so there it is. Insert into table, list off the columns, then the keyword values, and then inside a set of parentheses, you list the values in the same order as the columns are defined in the first clause. And if you need to, you can do a subquery here to fetch the value. All right, so let's run this. There we go, one, ins one row inserted. So let's browse and take a look and make sure we got that. Yep, there it is. Sure enough, we've got Pulp Fiction Reservoir Dogs. And that's it. That's how you do an insert statement. So anytime you want to take a look and see what it is, you can use this insert page, type in the values and click Go, and you'll get to see what the SQL statement looks like if you know what the value is. Or on the SQL page, the SQL tab inside phpMyAdmin, if you click on the Insert button, there it is. You'll get to see what the insert looks like. All right, so I will leave the link to the SQL file so you can have that starter data. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. And as always, thanks for watching.